Hello everybody, welcome again to your channel Echo Engineering. In this video, we are going to talk about a trading strategy named Greed Strategy. Uh, it seems that it's a popular and very well known strategy and that's why I decided to explain it and backtest it. This video has two sections. In the first section, I explained the trading approach and in the second section, we backtest this strategy by the code which is written in MQL5 and MetaTrader5 uh, and we use strategy tester to backtest the strategy and see its performance. I highly recommend you do not use this strategy before watching this video to the end and see its performance and my explanations. Uh, if this is your first time uh, watching our channel, please uh, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button. So whenever we upload new videos regarding trading strategies or algorithmic tradings or uh, writing expert advisor, you would be immediately noticed and uh, you can watch it uh, as soon as possible. I hope you enjoyed this video and stay with me to the end. So in this section, we discuss about the grid strategy, but uh, please notice, although the main focus of our channel is on algorithmic trading and programming using the code to do the trades, uh, but uh, sometimes we backtest the strategy, we introduce the profitable strategies here, and I leave you the link to some of these videos here. You can, if you like them, you can go and watch them. But what is great strategy? First, imagine that we have a chart like that. This is the price of, for example, your USD. It is just fluctuating around, around some. Uh, prices. We just uh, draw some grids like that, which each level, for example, has the distance between two uh, levels would be around, for example, 100 points. In this case, case it's 100 points, uh, but it can be, for example, 500 thousands or whatever you want. So how does it work? So this is our levels. Imagine that, for example, price goes high like that, and here we opened a buy order. From now on, uh, we activate our grid strategy. How does it work? Okay, from this level to this other level, when we go higher and we hit the higher level, for example, like that, we open one buy and one sell order immediately together and we cash out one buy. We have two buy and one sell at the moment. This buy is in a profit by 100 points because we opened it here and now it reached it reaches this the higher level by 100 points and it is in a profit by 100 points. So we cash out this buy and in this case now we have two open positions, one buy and one sell. And because we closed this buy by 100 profit, then our profit point would be 100. Now we continue. For example, the price fluctuates like that, and then again it goes higher and hit the higher level. Again, when we hit higher level, we open another buy and sell orders orders together, and we cash out one buy. But the buy order we have two buy order now. We cash out the buy order that is in profit. So we cash out this buy order here. Then we have now three open order, one sell, two sell, and one buy. So the total open position positions is three now. And profit points, uh, we uh, closed one buy here by 100 point profit. And the second buy here by again 100 point profit. and uh, uh, Generally speaking, we acquire 200 points. Uh, uh, when we, if we want to change it to, for example, US dollar or our base, our account currency, we need the lot size. But here we just speak about the points. So we gain 200 points because we closed two orders by 100 points profit for each. Now, if price goes like that and the fluctuate, and now hit the lower level, again, we open another buy and sell order together. But now instead of cashing out a buy order, we cash out a sell order, cash out a sell, one sell. But which sell? This is the sell order and this is the sell order. Both of them are sell orders. 
we cash out the sell order which is in profit if we close this one we don't gain anything but if we close this one we gain 100 point again because uh, it would be in the profitable direction so we cash out this one and we again gain 100 point like that if we see with the total open position now would be four one two three four four open positions and the total profit would be 300 which 200 is from the buy orders and 100 is from the sell orders order so again we continue for example the price from here goes back and hit again the higher level again we open another buy and sell order and we cash out one buy order uh, in this case we cash out this buy order because this one is in profit not this one so we cash out this one and now the total open position is five one two three four five and we gained 400 points which uh, 300 of them are from the buy orders and 100 is from the sell order again we continue for example the price again goes higher hit this level we open another buy and sell order uh, again and we cash out one buy we can cash this buy cash out this buy and this buy both of them but i prefer to cash out the buy the earliest buy which would be this one because i don't want to pay for example a swap uh, it's very important uh, and it's actually a uh, very important point about this strategy we talk about it when we are back testing it but now we cash out the earliest one so i cash out this buy and now the total open position is six and the profit points would be 500 again we continue for example the price fluctuate again like that and hit the lower level Again, we buy and we open a buy and sell order together, but because we hit uh, the lower level, we cash out one sell order between these two, which both of them are pro in profit. I cash out the earliest one, so I cash out this one, and so on. Again, as we can see, now total open positions uh, is seven and profit points are is 600 so this is it this is all about the grid strategy it seems that it is risk-free but it is not because if it was risk-free then everyone would have used it and everyone were were rich but it is not the case uh, what is important is that first notice that this profit here is what you are seeing in your balance not your equity uh, yeah, you have gained 600 uh, points, but still you have open orders, which they are in losses. So the equ your equity would be your balance plus your profit and losses of your open orders. And as long as you have open orders, the broker doesn't let you to cash out all of your balance. Maybe they, maybe based on some brokers, maybe some brokers let you to uh, cash out uh, a proportion of your balance but not all of it it's very important and uh, the second important things this sell and buy orders can be open for days or weeks and uh, for each days you would pay uh, some uh, swaps when you open them you paid spreads and you will pay commissions too in some cases and they will negatively affect this strategy if you go, for example, here in MetaTrader, this is your balance, this is your equity. It's very important to understand the difference between these two. In the next section, we will backtest this strategy by using Strategy Tester. So uh, this is the code that I am using to backtest the grid uh, strategy. The name of this expert advisor is EA, Grid Trading Strategy. I'll give you access to this code, but in any case, if you want to learn algorithmic trading and uh, programming the expert advisor, which is something that you should learn because without backtesting the strategies, I think you would not be profitable traders. Uh, I'll leave you the video the, to the tutorial of algorithmic trading here. You can watch it. It would be very useful for you. But in any case, I will leave you the code uh, in the description. So I go to, this is the code. I compile it. 
Again, I go back to the MetaTrader. Here, I, from view, I'll add strategy tester. This is our strategy tester. From the expert, I add my EA grid trading strategy here. I want, it, I want to test it on Euro USD. The period of test, I want it to be between these two dates. And the deposit will be 100,000 US dollar. I press start. Now uh, the testing window is opened. I decrease the speed a little and then I open a clean template. I want it to be like that. And now exactly like I mentioned in the previous section, if it goes high by 100 points or low by 100 points, then it opens another two orders and it close a sell or an earlier sell or buy order. Now I increase the speed. Okay, now it closed the previous order and opened two orders and now total position is three. It has opened three orders. Now it is four. It has opened four orders. And uh, this is the orders here in trades section. As you can see, the balance is increasing, but the equity is decreasing. Although we gained some balance, but the equity is decreasing because we still have some open orders which are not profitable, and we lost money because of them. Now we uh, seven order is opened. I just small it, minimize it, and here we can see the graph. As you can see, this is the strategy tester we are testing it nine order ten orders and this is the blue one is the balance the balance is increasing but at the same time the balance is increasing the equity is decreasing because we have still some orders that we are that they are not profitable uh, 30 32 orders is opened still continue continue we are in the balance is increasing and we are getting close to the end. It's very important. What happened at the end is very important. Okay. See, it is increasing, 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 increasing until at the end, which it means at the end means we are going to cash out all of our balance. The balance will decrease to the equity. Because in order to cash out your balance, you should close all your open orders. When you close them, then they will, the balance will be equal to equity. So to this point, we were profitable. But then when we close all open orders, we actually lose money. If uh, here in the back test, if I maximize it, I can see that I the total net profit is actually minus 25,305. I almost lost 25% of my balance. Although to the last point, I was profitable. Actually, I thought that I am profitable because my balance was increasing. But again, if I look at it here, this is my balance and the equity when I close all open orders. So that's why I'm saying this uh, strategy is not profitable. When you, if you want to use it, which I don't suggest at all, if you want to use it, you should use it in a broker, which this broker has positive swap. It means, for example, when you keep your USD during the night, in some direction, you will gain some money. In other direction, you will lose money. If you keep it during the night, they will pay you. They have positive swap. If you don't know it, please read about positive and negative swaps too. And please enter the order when the spread is minimal. But still, I highly recommend do not use this strategy because it is not profitable. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked this video, please do not forget to hit the like button so YouTube algorithm will introduce us to those who are interested in these subjects. Uh, I hope you have a good day. Goodbye.